In last week's video, I was looking at five string bass exercises. Now this week, I wanna share with you an exercise that I've come up with on my six string bass. So all it is, is triads in 12 keys. Now, a typical way to play a triad would be root, third, fifth, root. Okay, that's normal, but it's boring. So I've put an extra element in here of starting on the third and making a five note grouping. So all I'm doing is I'm starting third, going back to the root, and then playing root, third, fifth, root. So it's this. One, two, three, four, five. Now I'm taking that through 12 keys, and the way I'm doing it is like this. So we're starting on a C major triad with the root note on the first fret of the sixth string, trying to use as much of the range of our sixth string bass as we can. So we're starting on the third, which is E. So we're going E, C, E, G, C. And then we're dropping down onto what would be the seventh of a, of a C major chord. So like it's almost like a C major seven arpeggio. Um, but this seventh is now gonna act as the third of the next chord, which is gonna be a G major triad. So we're gonna do this. I'm gonna drop onto the seventh of the G major, which is gonna now be the third of a D major triad. And then onto the third of an A major triad, onto the third of an E major triad. Now when we get to here, we run out strings going up, so we have to come back down. And the way we're gonna do that is like this. Third, root, fifth, third, root. On the E major, dropping onto the seventh, of, which is now gonna be the third of a B major triad. Going down, we could use the open B string at the bottom, but we're actually gonna put that note up an octave and we're gonna play that, that final root note here. So the way I'm playing the B major triad is third, root, fifth, third, back up to the root, drop onto the seventh, which is now the third of an F sharp major triad, and now come up using exactly the same pattern that we did before. And then when we get to that first string, we're gonna come down on the B flat major triad the same way we came down on an E major triad before. So third, root, fifth, third, root, drop onto the seventh, which is now the third of the F major triad. And then come onto an E, which is an octave above where we started. So you're now back onto a, a C major triad. So you, you've basically gone through 12 keys by that point. And if you want, you can just carry on up again the same way you did before. etc et and you can just until you run out of space uh, and then you could come up with a similar exercise coming down if you wanted to let's let's have a listen to how it sounds just that first octave <laughs> <laughs> 